qualified for church leadership. So as we talk about the roles of men and women in the church, um, this passage of 1 Timothy doesn't just have instructions and correctives for women. It has a lot of instructives and correctives for men, long lists of them, a variety of them. And there's a, there's a call here for men to be involved then in church. It's implicit that to be these things, you're also present in the life and the worship of the church. So we are going to talk about how Paul does not allow women to teach, but there's a lot here about how men ought to teach. So throughout church history and continuing in today, to today, there is a, a tradition of a failure of men to be in these roles. We talked about this a little bit in biblical manhood, but the main part of this passage is not devoted to what women cannot do, but is devoted to what men ought to be doing. And I think that's really, really important because usually when we're talking about this passage, what we talk about is this one part of it that is a corrective to the ideal to how men and women are gonna serve in the church. But if we fail to see the context of that passage, you're, you're kind of missing the point. This is primarily a call to men to certain kinds of service and certain kinds of character, to a presentness, um, to, to be strong, to take responsibility, and to do it in such a way that you're exercising um, authority and service and teaching in the church. So if you are a man or a, an aspiring man, um, this is the call to you is to be these things. Um, but also, therefore, to be present in the church, um, to not leave a vacuum where leadership is required, um, where teaching is required, and there's no man to do it. It's a call to biblical manhood. Um, and this is a difficult thing because the kind of authority that the Bible gives to people who are exercising headship to men is a very specific kind of authority. What kind of authority is it? Do you guys remember? It's sacrificial. It's one that also takes responsibility. So this means that you're going to be the, the one who is working the hardest, who is there first, who leaves last, uh, maybe in the context of the family, first up, last to sleep. I mean, this is a call to be exercising authority in the sense that you are taking responsibility for all of it, that you are working hard, that you are meeting these qualifications. Um, it's, it's not like a privilege so much as it is a duty, a calling. 